Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the personal portfolio series that I'm going to be doing. So this is the introduction video. I'm going to talk about things like why this is going to be beneficial for you um, and some context behind the series so you can get a sense of where this series is going to be headed. So with that said, let's first talk about some of the benefits that you're going to get from this portfolio uh, series. So first off, what I want to provide for you is basically my documentation of my thought process and show you sort of like how to do it, what, what steps to take, um, give you examples, give you ideas for how to begin. And um, if you get stuck, you can hopefully refer back to any part of this series to kind of push you, you forward. Another thing I want to do is just encourage you and motivate you. So um, we have a Slack community. We have over 150 designers in that community. If you join, which is going to be in the description, um, the, the link to, to join, um, I'm going to be able to provide you in real time uh, feedback uh, just to give you a sense of how I would you know, take your project going forward if, if you have any specific questions. So not only are you going to have the content that we're going to be covering in this series, but you're going to have access to me as well. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and uh, be happy to talk to you there. We can hop on a Zoom call. So I'm more than willing to help you guys and just get your portfolio started. The last piece that I think is going to benefit you is showing you the concept projects that you can create. So we're going to be documenting, as I mentioned in the last video, two different products that I'm going to be improving. So this will hopefully really give you a framework for how you might go about fixing usability issues or redesigning certain UI components to make them more uh, valuable or usable to a client. Um, so that's what we're going to be covering in that series. And that's going to be all basically under this personal portfolio series because they're pretty much interlinked. So I have like two main reasons for creating this portfolio. First off, I want a place that I can document all of the work that I've worked on, as well as the work that I'm going to continue to work on. And so having a place for people to find me and connect with me is definitely the main reason that I'm creating the portfolio. And then the other thing is I want to be able to document the work outside of work, passion projects that like these two personal projects, um, to show sort of my process and my thinking to people like yourself um, and then anyone else that's interested in, in learning more about me. That way I have a place uh, to just push that content to because a lot of the times I feel like I'm creating content or I'm creating a deliverable, but it's not really put towards anything because I'm not creating any case studies. So it's finally time to put all of the work that I work on in my free time into something that's actually producing, you know? So that's the main reason that I want to create this is just have a place to show all of my work and basically put my energy into something that's productive. And with some of those side projects, I'm excited to be working on things that I don't get really a chance to work on at uh, my regular job. Things like consumer apps, uh, because we're a B2B enterprise type of application, I'd like to work on some consumer facing stuff just for fun and, and kind of grow that skill and become more of a well-rounded designer. And then lastly, just work with other sectors because I have a passion for helping all users, not just accountants, so, or finance teams in general. And that's what I'm really excited about with those personal projects. Now, because this is an intro video for the series, I'm going to talk to you about all the things that I've been working on over the past month to sort of get me ready for the place that I'm at right now. So. What I'm showing you on the screen here is my Figma file, the portfolio series that I'm working through. And so you're seeing hero images from some of my favorite portfolios that I found. What I first started doing is I got LinkedIn's premium account and I did the career option. They have different options for that offer different features. I would say the career is probably the best one for you unless you are trying to um, actually, I'm, I'm starting to see there is one specifically for getting jobs. I've never had to use it. I'm, I, I don't know. Yeah, it is get hired. Okay. So same one. So no matter if you're getting hired or you're just trying to connect with people, I would say the career option is, is what's for you. And, um, what I did is I looked at about a thousand portfolios, so much time, weeks of time of looking through a thousand portfolios, um, from people that were at some of the top SAS digital product companies in, in the world, in the United States and in the world. And then what I did is I created 
a list of my favorite of those a thousand i created my list of a favorite 50 about 50 this kaleo one is actually a like a design agency um which leads me into the next thing so after i found all of the portfolios that i liked you saw a little bit of that i took some hero images from those and then um designed out different hero sections different layouts for how i might go about laying it out you'll notice that it's a mixture of low fidelity and high fidelity and what i mean by that is there's no real images yet because i didn't have them um i didn't do a traditional um sense of building up my portfolio in the beginning simply because i knew i was going to come back and do this from scratch I wanted to get a sense of like what the colors are going to look like. So I added a little bit of colors just to get a sense. So you'll notice I updated the logo um, for the YouTube channel with this blue. Uh, it's like a bluish purple. And I actually probably will use that a lot in my branding going forward. So that's why you see that color. Um, but yeah, I, I essentially went through here. I found started with the home page is really all I was focused on and then found different layouts for case studies that I can come back to or like a footer for example I just laid out whatever I kind of liked this isn't everything um, I continue to reference this sheets um, so I can go back and look at their portfolios who knows they may change for better or for worse and I can get more ideas the other thing I did though is I went to Clutch. If you've never heard of Clutch, it's basically a place where like businesses get reviewed that are specific. I believe it's specific to like design, web design, you know, everything related to like I think maybe social media marketing, like just tech related agencies. Um, so I went here and I just opened up a ton of these guys' websites, and these are some of the best. UX UI agencies pretty much out there. So they probably are the best ones out there. I don't think you can find a better place to just get all of these in one area. Um, you can sort, not have to see the sponsored ones. You can see by verified and clutch rank and those kind of things. So I went through here and what I'm finding is really valuable here is some of the layouts. So case study layouts. Uh, if you, you're not going to have a service page, but if you offer some sort of a, a an offering, um, you can see how they structure that out, contacts. So lots of really good stuff here. So I spent about a month um, just sort of going through portfolios, getting ideas down, and then getting a sense of what I want to do with the homepage. So this is what I have so far. Um, some of this is not going to make it in the first iteration. So this resources tab, not going to make it, um, the portfolio is not actually going to make it. The homepage will be the portfolio. And then thinking about doing a UX UI audit. And I think that's, yeah, that's, that'll probably make it. The idea of that is I'm just going to quickly offer a service. It's like a three or four week service to companies that, um, would like, an expert's opinion on how they can fix usability issues. And that's basically what I want to provide um, to help like early stage startups that couldn't really afford my services full time. But I, I feel like there's a sense similar to this YouTube channel where YouTube's given so much back to me. I'm going to be offering a service that's affordable to early stage startups because I feel like they offered so much to me to get to me to get to where I'm at. Um, so I think that would be kind of a, cool opportunity and then the about page is going to be there so it's going to be like home about contact in the ux ui audit for this first one i'm going to be doing something that's kind of unique in that i'm going to be having videos throughout i create youtube content throughout the the um portfolio this is going to be like a hover state so you can see like the view the case study there but yeah i'm gonna have videos so it's going to say get to know me and then a video will pop up so that way you can get to know me and then throughout the case studies we'll get into that later i'm going to be having uh contextual videos throughout that case study so i think it's going to be i've never seen it done i've looked at at least a thousand um you know portfolios so i'm really excited to kind of get to that stage 
Um, so yeah, th these are going to be the case studies. There, there will be personal projects. It will all basically be the same when I first create this. There's like the UX UI audit CTA and then the footer. So this is what I've been working on, like I said, for about a month or so. So what we're going to do going forward, this is like I said, the intro of the video series. Next video, I'm going to be talking about the first product, the concept project that we're going to be working on, why I chose it, the goals of that project. And once we've created a few concept projects, two to be exact, then we're going to get into the portfolio. We're going to pick up and create case study layout and structure for those two projects and then come back to this file and pick it up, kind of fix the home page. We'll create everything in Figma and then we're going to build a web flow and I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's what we're going to be doing now for today's design rec. My recommendation would be to you to go to LinkedIn, get this career uh, premium account and you can do a 30 day free trial and use it to connect with people, use it to get yourself out there. And it's like 50 some odd dollars a month, I think from there maybe 60. So it's somewhat expensive depending on how valuable it is to you. But I would say definitely do this, connect with people, connect with me. And uh, I'd love to help you get started and show you more strategy um, because I was in sales before I use sales navigator before, and I can show you how to use LinkedIn. I have like over 5,000 connections and I, I know how to use LinkedIn. It's, it's one of the tools that I love to spend my time on quite honestly. So definitely would recommend getting this career plan. And with that, I'm going to end the videos. Like I will always end these videos, which is remember that it takes 10,000 hours to master a craft. So what are you designing today? Let me know in the comments, connect with me on LinkedIn, uh, subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next week.